what's up what's up what's up youtube this is your boy say teams so today i'm going to be talking about how i managed to get or to trade you v51s please don't forget to like subscribe and comment on my youtube channel you can also share my youtube videos especially if they are helpful to you so i'm not going to waste much of your time so i'll just get on to talk about how i managed to trade this pay as you can see i sold the pay uh, it was actually a nice thing yeah you know if you you win you you feel good <laughs> so yeah so this video uh, i'm going to talk about how i mix btmm concepts uh, with uh, order blocks so everyone is talking about order blocks order blocks order blocks right so on this video uh, <clears throat> I'll first talk about how I, I, I managed to enter this trade and then I'll also give a tip at the end of the video. So please watch this video till the end. Don't forget if you don't have a derive account where you can trade boom and crash volatility indices, also check on the description below so that you can actually create your account. So, right, I've talked most most of the concepts so yeah on this video we are now walking the talk <laughs> we are now walking the talk guys so right how did i get to trade this pair right first i'm going to talk about this shark fin if you are looking at the it my TTI there, uh, there is a shark fin. So, this shark fin, why is this shark fin very important? So, I will start from the daily time frame. So, for you to actually trade well in the Forex market, you have to have a higher time frame bias. So, if you have watched my video on predicting market i know it's the it's the video on you know, predicting market direction what not what not on volatility indices in the forex market so for this video it's just an add-on if you haven't watched the other video please do so so i'm going to start from the daily time frame so on the daily time frame as you can see the red line cross the yellow line giving a what a sale bias so what's next we know that if you look at this whole if you look at this whole structure you know that it will give you what this will give you a shark fin on h4 right point number one and then if you go on h1 you have a what 50 200 what you have a 50 200 crossover plus or minus an oversold price line of the tdi if you check here uh, we have a 50 200 crossover there giving a what probability that we may actually reverse if you go on m15 i said you get your what your three levels and three levels a uh, level three is determined by the what by the 800 and 200 crossover so enough about that so now fair and fine you have seen that the the market will Will go down especially if we are looking at this example right now i talk about this shark fin so don't forget if there is a breakout 
of the price line outside the volatility bands they signify that we've got what we've got momentum got momentum so if you have seen that the price broke out of the the price line broke out of the volatility bands you know that definitely there was volatility and they were, it, it means that there was a strong impulsive move to push the town the the price down so when you see that you can now start anticipating a what a reversal so here i used a 50 you can see the 50 200 crossover here and then the price the red line went below the yellow line and on top of that you can see that there was a what a shark fin there so this shark fin should be stronger you don't want a weak a shark fin on the downside here specifically we want to see a strong impulsive move and i said if you want to see a strong impulsive move you must see breaking out of the of the volatility of the price line so if you see price line out of the volatility pains on the downside you know that there is now remember you are anticipating that you want to sell and then you see a what a strong impulsive move you now you've confirmed that you are now what going down so what else are you expecting so we then follow the same concept we now want to anticipate this don't forget this area will be equal to three levels on what on the m1 time frame but now we want to combine order blocks with what with our btmm structure so what do you do you have seen that the red line has crossed to be below the what the yellow line there was a what a shark fin you should be able to see a whole free space there that's why i, I refer to it as a shark fin i know i've spoken a, a a lot of shark fins shark fins shark fins but don't get confused please if you are new to this channel first watch other videos especially the playlist on on the prediction a uh, predicting market direction you must actually first watch that one before you watch this one so now we go to what to the anticipating part so you first draw your what your order block so remember it is the last it is the last uh, let's say you are selling the order block will be the last uh, green candle before a strong impulsive move uh, don't forget here we we see a break we can actually see a break in market structure as you can see here so you know that price definitely will have to come back to this order block so you know you have predicted the market direction you first started with the d1 you went to uh, anticipating a shark fin on h4 you saw a 5200 on h1 level 3 on m15 how do you enter you go on h1 again you see a strong impulsive move to the downside which is indicated by what by a shark fin what else do you do you draw your order block so as you can see if this whole thing had not happened you'll be seeing up to this point and then you draw your order block as i have uh, highlighted there so what do you do you start again here remember a shark fin will be there but it's not always guaranteed we are more interested in counting levels because btmm is equal to what counting levels all those other things which i mentioned they are there just to make you comfortable to boost your confidence right so for this case here there was no shark fin especially if you were anticipating a sale here you see there was no shark fin you go on m5 you see what a 50 200 crossover and an oversold price line and then you go on m1 on m1 you see what three levels here you can actually see the 800 200 crossover ema crossover so right you have seen all this 
what else do you do you wait for the so you go on m5 you wait for a 5200 you see it's a multiple you have to analyze from d1 h4 h1 m15 m5 all those time frames are very in, they are very important for you to actually make a trade so as you can see for this case here we now enter this when you see a what a price line crossing the what the market baseline so as you can see here that's when i started to take my what my trades and the price went down right now i'm in deep profit right now i'm deep profit guys so what i do usually when i see a setup don't forget the daily time frame setups there are sometimes they they cannot come as frequent as you think so and also the what you call the conditions for one to trade sometimes they can vary but you have to be patient guys patience is key so for this trade i deposited my hundred dollars each trade the lowest loss size remember v v volatility 51 s is yeah that pay <laughs> That pay yashis. <laughs> so yeah, you have to be careful, guys. So I think I've explained everything. Now I'm going to give you a bonus tip. So I'll use a what? A currency pay. Right. As usual, we start from a higher time frame and then we do our top-down analysis going down. So here I'll start with the four hour time frame so what will be your expectations you have seen that the red line has crossed the what the yellow line now fair and fine it has crossed you are now anticipating a buy and then here you see this recross so you are now anticipating to see what a a shark fin on h1 in m15 you are anticipating to see a what a 50 and 200 crossover plus or minus an oversold price line and then on m5 you expect to see what three levels right we go h1 there we've got a what we can actually appreciate the shark fin here you go on what m15 you can actually see the 50 200 crossover so if you go on m5 you are anticipating to see what all three levels as you can see there if you look on the top top right corner you can actually see a 800 and 200 crossover so you are now in what level three so the time frame of entry you use m15 so on m15 don't forget uh, i said you want to see a strong impulsive move to the upside don't forget we are anticipating to see a what a buy so what do you do here yeah. so this is a bonus tip guys you can use it if you want if you don't want it's still okay people have got different ways of trading so here we can actually see a what a strong impulsive move so this should be a shark fin from the top so what i mean is you want to see a strong impulsive move to the upside you want to see space in between the price line and the what here you can actually see there is space there so what do you do you have seen that there was a strong impulsive move you now draw your order block so if you watched my video on order blocks this should be easy and straightforward so this is a buying order block so it's the last red candle before a strong impulsive move so what do you do here you can see what this was our order block now for entries for entries now yeah so for h1 you have to now go so on m15 you do the same process on m15 you expect to see a shark fin on m5 and then on m1 you expect to see a 50 and 200 crossover plus or minus an oversold what 
concept. But don't forget if you are using H4, you can the time frames which you are using to confirm they are now limited because uh, on M1 you are now anticipating a what a 50 and 200 crossover. So that's how you can actually what do it. But let's see how yeah we So <coughs> actually for this pay, wow, for this pay, you can actually see all three levels to the downside on M1 time frame. So you can actually create your own theory. You see, trading has got many ways to up uh, many ways you can approach the, the, the whole concepts. So yeah. You can actually start practicing, but don't forget, uh, you always have to start from a higher time frame, going down, top-down analysis. Please, if you liked this video, don't forget to like, share to others, comment as well. It's really helpful if you comment on my videos, and then also you can actually subscribe on my channel. Cheers guys, cheers. Have a lovely day.